Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Welcome to my channel if you guys have not been here. Um, subscribe. <laughs> but anywho, today I'm going to be telling you guys a story about my senior dog. This just recently happened, like last month. And I got my receipts and everything to show y'all. Basically what happened was the vet nearly killed my dog. So it all started off one morning where I was coming home from work and I, my older dog, he likes to sit by the door or whatever because that's just a spot. So I went over to him and I petted him. Like, I like to pet like his chin and stuff. And I felt like by his chin, like he's a Cocker Spaniel, so he has long ears. And so by his chin or whatever, it was wet and I was like, I know you ain't get water all the way up there. I mean, it's possible, but you didn't, you didn't. What have you been doing? Like, what was that? And my sister just so happened to be like, she was right there, so I was like, she heard all that happening. And then she went over to check on him and she happened to lift up his ear. And then all we saw was like pus, nasty pus, like all coming, oozing out of his right ear left ear okay and I don't have a video of that sadly but it happened okay and so we had I didn't know what to do because he is a dog that's prone to ear infection so it's very common for cocker spaniels to have ear infection because they have floppy ears that don't get any air so like when they get wet they stay wet or whatever and funguses and stuff it's just nasty it's real nasty okay and so i didn't know what to do i was like oh my gosh let me look at his ear and so i looked at his ear and me myself i love animals to a point where i know a little bit about like what's going on and stuff so i touch his ear and like me touching his ear i can tell that it's swollen like that bad boy swollen and so i look at his ear and it's like the whole thing is like swollen like you can't look in there like it was just and it was red so i know it's like hurting him and everything and so i was i went into panic mode because this ain't never happened before yes he's had ear infections before and he's taking the medication and stuff but it's never been like oozing and stuff like that so i know like i just like we gotta get my baby to the vet okay we took him to the vet and well I called the vet first and I was like how much is it to like go and for y'all to check him out and everything it was a hundred and thirty dollars just for him to be checked out at the emergency room you guys expensive like what that's crazy and so I was like okay I'm a vet because it's my baby I got to uh they also told me that it was going to be a 10 seven hour wait they said it was gonna be a seven hour wait and so i was like okay we're gonna sit there and wait seven hours because he needs to sleep a bit pronto so i drove to the vet it was about 30 minutes away they're about 30 minutes away from my house so we drove there we made it there and we told them what was going on and everything and so they said okay a vet will be in there to see you soon okay and when they said it was a seven hour wait they did not lie y'all we was there till about nine o'clock and i was like oh my gosh so boring and me and my sister we just sat on the phone all day not all day so we just sat on the phone the whole like waiting every time and everything and my dog he eventually fell asleep he's an old man that's basically all he do nowadays is fall asleep get mad at the puppy you know old man stuff so the vet eventually came in and she checked out his not he he checked out his ear and stuff and he told us that yeah he has a pretty bad ear infection it was the common stuff that he expected to see inside the ear everything was going to be fine with him he gave him some pills to help with his swelling and pain so that, that can go down so that we can start cleaning his ears with vinegar 50 percent vinegar 50 percent water which is like a homemade remedy that clears ear infections so we're supposed to be doing that once a week 
and his medicine was supposed to be given to him every day and he also gave us some medicine that was supposed to come from a pharmacy so it was people medicine that we had to go fill out his prescription to go get it and after that visit we went home and I wasn't able to get his pharmacy medicine yet because it was night so I decided I'll go tomorrow and then it turns out I didn't go the other day either so we took him to the vet um, Friday and I got his medicine Saturday no 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 Sunday yeah I ended up going to get his medicine Sunday for his ear and then then Monday is when we started his medicine we gave him his medicine on Monday and later on in the evening towards nighttime my sisters had said that they, they saw him convulse they saw him shake they saw him what seemed like he was having a seizure to where he just spazzed out and just like couldn't walk he like freaked out and like and then he was fine after that and he did that like twice and I just thought nothing of it. I'm thinking, okay, maybe he tripped. Maybe, I don't know. So I'm like, it's okay, you guys, he'll be, he's fine. I'm sure it was not a seizure because he's never had a seizure before. So I'm just like, nah, it's not a seizure. And then later that night, I went out to go give him his medicine at one o'clock because he was supposed to get one of the medicines every twice a day every 12 hours so we gave it to him at 1 a.m at 1 p.m and so i was going to give him his medicine at 1 a.m and i went to go see him and he i had put the medicine inside of a thing of peanut butter i was about to go give it to him and i saw him convulsing like shaking like not just like his little shake not the shake that he was doing earlier where he just shook and then was fine it was he was shaking and then fine and shaking and then fine and then it was crazy and i tried to give him his medicine i'm just like okay let me see if you can take his medicine so i gave him put the spoon of peanut butter by his face and he tried to take it but then he just convulsed and just like couldn't take it and i'm just like what the fuck what the heck because pe it's peanut butter y'all dogs do not decline peanut butter you know he couldn't take it and i was and that made me freak out I'm like what the heck is wrong with him and he just kept on doing it kept on doing it and i'm just like what do i do so you know me well you don't know me <laughs> but me i immediately panic and i rush upstairs and I wake my mom up, I wake my sisters up, like we're going to the vet, he is having a seizure. Oh my gosh, okay? And I'm so panicky that I'm starting to cry and everything. Just like, oh my gosh, he's going to freaking die. Oh my gosh, I'm about to spend $5,000 at the freaking vet. But I took him anyways, because you know, that's my baby, he got a go. And so we took him to the vet. It was like 2 a.m. by the time we got there. And the vet, I immediately told them what he was doing. He was seizing and they, it, we went back to the same animal hospital also. And so, cause they were like a 24 hour emergency hospital. And so we had taken him there and they immediately took him to go put an IV in him because they, we told him they were, he was seizing. And we went to a waiting room and we waited for about three hours, maybe, until they finally came in and they were, they finally came in and then they told us that he wasn't seizing anymore. Well, they were saying that they were watching him to see if he was doing a seizure. So I'm guessing what he was doing was not a seizure at all. It was tremors. Because they were saying that he, right now he's just tremoring, which he, because I'm sure he was doing that whole time. Because once we saw him again, he was still tremoring. So, so and then she broke the news to us on 
what they did. So, these idiots, I'm not gonna call them idiots, okay? They made a mistake. So they had put his weight down wrong for his medicine, for his human medicine. They had put his weight down wrong. And so he was getting two times the amount that he should have been getting. <sighs> and I just feel like the, after she told us this, she didn't want the blame to be on them. She wanted to find something with him. Because I, after she had told us that, she had said that she had called the pet poison company or whatever and they had told her that he would need about 10 times the amount in order for him to start seizing and so she had told us that she wanted to do a bunch of lab checks and everything to see what is going on because she was saying that she does not think it was from the medication she thinks it's something else but here's the thing I was comp I was deciding if I should do this or not. Like, this l a bunch of lab work and stuff. She was saying it's going to be in the thousands and stuff. Like, a couple thousand. And I ain't rich, you guys. I'm not. At all. <laughs> and so, I couldn't afford that. And I called my mom and asked her, what should I do? And she says, we can't afford it. And then me, myself, thinking, I'm thinking it shouldn't be anything else because he, he's been perfectly fine until we gave him the medication. It's the exact same day we gave him the medication that this all happened. So I know for a fact that it's the medication. So I told her that, I told the vet that we weren't going to do all the lab checks and stuff because I'm pretty sure it's the medication. And so she, I told her just to treat him for um, poisoning. And so she gave him the IV, I guess that was it. She gave him the IV for a while and then she gave us some muscle relaxers so that his muscles would be okay or whatever. So he can relax because he's like trimming really tight and everything. So. We brought him home, we got home at around five. And so we were there from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. And then when we got home, I placed, my dog's name is Shadow, I didn't say this yet, but yeah, his name is Shadow. And I placed Shadow in my bed and I, I just wanted him to be with me. wanted him to be with me that night in case he did go that's how bad it was like it was scary and so I placed him with me that night and we both got zero sleep because he was shaking tremoring so bad that he couldn't relax he couldn't lay down he couldn't go to sleep and so I'm just trimming right there. Of course, I'm not going to be able to sleep either. And I didn't give him the muscle relaxers because I was scared. I was scared because they had already overdosed him and I didn't want to add more medication on top of it just in case it did something else. I just wanted the medication to run its course and get out of his system. And so the next day, Shadow was able to get up and everything, but he still was tremoring. It just wasn't as bad as that night, which I was grateful for. I was like, 
he's gonna get better I could tell and by that night it was just a small tremor and he was fine and so by the next day he was he was okay next day he was okay and everything was cool and I, I they had told us to just have his medications but we still haven't even started him back on those medications honestly I it's I feel like I just I'm scared I don't want to give him the medications anymore because what if they did something wrong again and this time he doesn't survive it. Shadow is 12 years old. 12 or 13 years old. I have asked my sister. She knows for sure. But, and he's been with us since he was a puppy. I'm 19 years old. He was with us since I was, since I was like seven. And so, to this day, we haven't given him this medicine anymore. But his ear had, like, his swelling had went down. So, we started, so once a week, we clean his ears with the 50% water and 50% vinegar. So, that's going fine right now. He's doing well. And, um, and then a few a week after that I just wanted to make sure that he was perfectly fine before I called the vet back because I wanted my money back you guys I was con I was deciding whether or not to sue but I was thinking that it was a mistake okay it was just a mistake and I hope they learned their lesson I hope they know what they did wrong i hope they pay more attention next time because it's very important with their type of job and so i called them asking for my money back for that appointment not the appointment where we had went to go get this medication but just the appointment to where i brought them in before seizing and they had said that a doctor would call me back because the they needed the doctor who treated Shadow or something. And I asked them when they would, she would call me back. And they said tomorrow. Around sometime tomorrow. And so I waited. No call. And so I waited. I gave them two days to call me back. And so I called again. And then that time they said that they were going to go get the doctor. And I had to wait like 10 15 minutes before the doctor even showed up on the phone and then i'm happy because right away after the doctor got on the phone they gave me my money back for that appointment so it was like 200 something they had given back so yeah <clears throat> shadow was still alive to this day he's living on he's doing good and he's fine now. Thank God. And yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see more of my animals. Want to know more about my animals. Comment down below. Subscribe. Go check out some of my other videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope. Okay.